Wolves, Night Ops, welcome back. We have Mr. Steer with us again. Woo -hoo! Good to be back, guys. Good to see you. Welcome back yourselves. So this is a 10 minute core workout. Everything is focused on the core. In fact, we don't ever leave the ground today during this workout. We were so excited about our workout the other day with Mr. Skinner, we thought we'd have him back if we could do another workout together. So, 10 minutes, one minute per activity, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Everything's on the floor. We're starting with regular crunches. Get yourselves ready to go, find some space, maybe grab a mat if you have one. Carpet will do just fine, but we're gonna start here in about five seconds. Let's do this, do it. Skin and I have our hands behind our heads, but they're really just beside our ears. You don't want to pull up on your neck. That can really strain the neck. You just want to lift your shoulders and upper back off the floor and really work on tightening those abs every time you come up. And you want to work on keeping the small of your back pressed into the floor. Again, this isn't about how fast you can do them. It's about how well you can do the position and the movement. We got about five seconds left. Keep it up. You're doing great. And one more. That's 45 seconds. Nice and done. Okay, 15 second break. We're going to legs tuck, crunches next. So you're going to be laying on your back again. You're going to put your legs 90 degrees like this, straight up in front of you. So you're just going to crunch up close to those knees you can get there. Here we go. Up we go. Now, do not forget to breathe on this one. A lot of people will hold the breath when they crunch, and that is probably the worst thing that you can do, okay? So as you're coming up, breathe out. Sometimes, I will make a big deal out of blowing the air out, just so I'm conscious about the act of breathing. Breathe in on the way out. Oh yeah, that feels good. I'm feeling it. About 10 more seconds. Crunch it up, keep it going. Oh, yeah. I haven't done these for quite a while. I haven't Two, done. one, and rest. All right, 15 seconds rest. Heel touch crunches. These are like our windshield wipers that we've done. I'm just gonna lay down, leave my feet on the floor, and I'm just gonna slide to one side, touch the heel, slide to the other side. Here we go, 45 seconds, and go. Just lifting our shoulders off the floor. And we are sliding this side to side, touching those heels. Just keep that movement going. If you need to, just take a quick break. If it's really struggle for you, that's not a problem. Just take a quick break, but don't quit. You get back into it when you can. It's not about speed, remember. We've got about 15 seconds left. Stay with it. Keep going. If you need to, stretch them out a little bit. Keep those shoulders off the floor as you go. Nicely done, we've got five seconds left. Stay with it. One, and done, nice job. Gonna stay on your back. These 15 seconds go pretty quick. Legs straight to the floor, crunch it. So, you're gonna bring your legs up like this. You can put your arms out to the sides. Bend them if you need to, keep them straight if you can. You're gonna come down, touch your heels to the ground, Bring it back up, off you go. So touch, slow and control. You don't want to let your legs drop, so then swing it back up. It's all about control. Bring them down slowly, bring them up slowly, and we're still breathing. If it's too hard, bend your legs just like so. Touch those heels just like this, okay? But if you can, straighten them a little bit more. You know what you're capable of, push yourself, but again, don't let them drop. Keep them straight, keep in control. If you need to put your hands under your lower back just a little bit, offer some support, that works too. Three, two, one, and rest. Nicely done. We are rolling over to our front, and we're gonna do mountain climber planks. So I'm just up in mountain climber position, and we're just gonna touch our toes, slowly alternating our feet. All right, here we go, 45 seconds, let's do this. Now, try to keep your body in as flat of a position as you can. 
try not to have a high mountain as we talked about during class last year. Those of you that were with us a long time ago. That was a while ago. <laughs> so nice and slow. You should feel this really well along your sides if you're in a good plank position. And I'm alternating feet. So this is not like real mountain climbers. It's a step, touch, step, touch. Nice and slow. We got five seconds left. Stay with it. You got this. Nice work, everybody. And that's 45 seconds. Woo! It's really good to do this in the mess. I don't know who created this workout, Mr. Ken. Well, climb with elbows. I feel like it's tree this one. Okay, again, on your elbows. Try and keep it nice and flat as you can. Okay? Just like so. Try not to let your bottom come up like this. We call these mountains. Keep them straight as you can. You're looking for the straightest line between your shoulders, your hips, and your ankles, okay? If your hips get a little too high, it takes the focus up your core. We really want to hit that core, okay? So to put yourself in a happy place, you got about 15 seconds to go. If you kind of relax your knees just a little bit too, that can focus on your core a little more. Stay with it, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, relax. Woo! Nice work. All right, kayak crunches. So, we are batteries low. Hopefully we'll make it. We are rotating side to side. If you want to make this a little bit more of a challenge, you can lift your feet off the floor like Mr. Skinner is doing. Keep that last. <laughs> make sure that you're leaning back when you do these. I haven't done an all core workout in a long time. I can totally feel it. Oh yeah, it burns. So if you need to take a little break, like I am, that's okay, but don't let it make you quit. Just keep with it, keep after it. We've got 13 seconds left. You got this, Wolves, Nighthawks, keep pushing. Oh my gosh. It's burning. Stay with it. Oh my goodness. And that's 45 oh. seconds. Man, that hurts. Oh yeah, toe touch. <laughs> touch. If you like that one, you're gonna love these. Put your legs up as straight as you possibly can. Keep them nice and straight. And all you're trying to do is touch your shoelaces, okay? So reach, relax, reach. Relax. I actually cross my legs. I feel like it helps me keep them up a little better. I'm not the most flexible guy in the world. So, me either. Just holding your legs up like this is exercising itself. <laughs> uh, great job, everybody. Uh, we are glad you joined us today. As you can see, a couple of old guys leading the way. You can do it too. Don't forget to breathe. Oh, yeah. Breathe out the way up. I can feel my legs giving up. Come on. Three more. One. Two. Three. One. Rest. Oh, hey, let's. Two to go. All right. This next one, we may never have done before, but I'm going to put my hands right underneath my bottom. And all I'm going to do is lift my hips off the floor. And I'm not going to swing my legs and swing all the way back. I'm just going to lift, lift, and set my bottom back down. Lift. Whoa, I can really feel these. <laughs> In places I didn't know oh my God. muscles existed. Wolves, Nighthawks, we are incredibly proud that you joined us on this and that you're still working it. Stay with it. Now, this is an example of if you find this workout to be a challenge, that's a great message to yourself that you should come back and do this again. Don't just do it this one time and say, oh, that was the hardest thing I've ever done and never do it again. Come back and do it again so you can get better at it. That's 45 seconds. That was hard. Okay, I'm gonna work it up. I'm gonna change that real quick. Last one, arm sweeps. 45 seconds. All you need to do, Legs like so. You're gonna bring your arm around, touch your fingertips, and back down. Okay? Off we go. Touch, 
and down. Breathe out, breathe in. Touch, and then. Remember, hit pause if you need to. But don't quit. That breathe out technique is a help. It just helps you remember to breathe. Push the air out on the way up. Come on, that does. Ten seconds. Pushes the air out of your abs and that part of your body. Five seconds. Oh, and we are done. Ah, woo! So, a good stretch for your muscles after you're done is to lay down on your stomach and just gently push up on your elbows. You give your body a nice stretch. And if you need more, just go up on your hands a little ways. Oh yeah. It's kind of like the seal pose. Yeah. I don't know what they call this in yoga, but the cobra, maybe? The I don't cobra? Know. I don't know what it's called, but it feels nice. Mr. Skinner, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. That just reminded me that I need to look my abs a little more. And now I've got a video I can use on YouTube to make that happen. Right. <laughs> Wolves, Nighthawks, thank you for joining us. We love doing this. Uh, wish we could do it together more often. You may see a little more of the two of us together. We'd like to have that happen. So, enjoy the rest of your day, Mr. Skinner. Uh, we'll go for a walk later, maybe, right? Do it. Yeah. Get out and exercise. Remember, this isn't the only work you're doing, Wolves and Nighthawks. We've got to do other stuff as well to keep our bodies active. Stay healthy. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon, guys.